finally finished 100 heads challenge and it only took me six months so hi it's been a while since i've been in front of a camera which is why i'm holding this because i don't know what to do with my hands but let's get down to the facts shall we i started this project i believe beginning of june or end of may and it is now december when i'm filming this so that's six months for 100 heads in my defense i was working at a at a day job that entire time so and i was also in a theater production and i read a book it was a really good book what else happened i don't know i um am glad to be making this video though but the challenge didn't actually start in the googly-eyed sketchbook nay my friend it started in this swap premature art reveal oh my gosh also do you like my makeup it reminds me of those those things in spongebob that show up in just the ocean and then i accidentally penciled over my eyebrow slit so i just decided to cover the entire thing it actually started in this sketchbook which is my travel sketchbook although the last time i traveled with it was for thanksgiving i don't really draw anymore a uh, big bad horrible reveal i mean i do draw occasionally but i almost wonder if i burnt myself out with this challenge because because um after i is that hot glue or epoxy that's definitely epoxy it's not coming off like hot glue would oh and never mind maybe that was hot glue but yeah i uh, i think it was just Feeling like I had no time is why I haven't drawn in a while, which kind of sucks because, as you'll see in a minute here, I learned so many things from this challenge, and then immediately afterwards, I stopped drawing. I've still been creative. Like, I made an entire Toothless costume. Here's the proof if you thought I was lying for whatever reason. I finished that one skirt that I completely forgot to tell Instagram that I finished. <laughs> This doesn't actually have anything to do with the video, so let's get to it, shall we? First up, we've got... Let me move you in a little bit closer, Bessie. Is this too close? Do you feel uncomfortable? You can see where I got eyeliner on my face. Okay, now I feel uncomfortable, actually, so... <laughs> Well, we know who won that battle. So yeah, this is what the first page looks like. And you can see it's kind of, mm, it's kind of disorganized. The vibes aren't all there. I, at the time, was super into background elements. Like anything that could make a drawing pop out from the rest of the page, so into it. And you'll see how I incorporate that in later pages. But for right now, this is what I was doing and it just was not the vibe for me. So, um, yeah, we got day one, we got day two, we got to... We got a couple of attempts. I already the reference kicked my butt because I honestly needed this challenge. And here's the thing, just a quick little thing. I love how the 100 heads challenge was an actual challenge for me. A lot of the time on the internet, challenge just means activity. Like so many times you'll like see videos or in any type of content, any type of hobby, it doesn't mean it's an actual challenge, it just means that it's an activity. But this was an actual challenge for me, which was amazing. It was the challenge that I needed, and the challenge that I wanted, and the challenge that I nearly didn't finish. I think we still have two questions. And it was pretty sweet, because even though I didn't do it exactly by the rules, which was 10 heads every day for 10 days, which would get you 100 heads. Obviously, I didn't do that. It took me six months. I still learned a butt ton of things. And it's kind of amazing because in concept, the challenge is incredibly simple. It's literally just drawing from reference, which is something that everyone should do. And it's something that I feel like a lot of people don't do for whatever reason. And this is literally just studying references for 100 references when it's just studying one at uh, genius credit to the original person whose name i forgot i'm so sorry um <clears throat> so here i switched up my game a little bit i actually watched draw with waffles video on the 100 heads challenge and she did it where she just crammed as many heads as she could into the page. And I oh, I love that. So I kind of tried incorporating that here. I'm not too good at that because um, spacing, mm, not really my thing. But I had like this little blue thing. Look at that. 
And I actually really like all of these heads still, even after what I've been through. I love all of them. Especially that one. Like, let me get a close up on that. Like, ooh la la. It's type of a, like a, I think it was like a sculpture of an angel or something. I just, I really liked it. I loved it. I'm sorry if I'm talking too much too fast. I'll probably have less to say as the video goes on. Don't worry. We've got kind of where I was trying to think before, background elements. You can't really see it on camera, but if we get in a little closer, maybe you can see. Yes, slight blue outlines on the ones that I really liked, and uh, it just, mm, I was having so much fun. I, I look back on these so fondly. All right, here's where we're really getting serious, where we're getting in the groove, kind of. You can still tell that some are better than others. You can really tell which types of faces I am used to drawing. For instance, pretty boy, pretty girl, pretty boy number two, pretty boy number three. I love the blue hair on this. I want hair like that. Oh my gosh. And this is super smudgy because I made the classic rookie mistake of doing graphite right next to graphite. But this is also where I got super duper challenged. You see a bunch of these wrinkly old men faces, which I have never done anything like before in my life. But it was such a good challenge for me. And they did not turn out perfect at first because it was my first time. But as we go on, I start getting a little more comfortable with them and I start getting kind of more of an idea of what's going on and how to do it. I learned how to draw wrinkles because of this challenge. That's amazing. Do like what the way that gravity affects the face over years of use and walking around on this planet, that is such an amazing thing to draw. Like I have wanted to learn how to draw that for so long. I was just I didn't have the balls to do it and yet once again, we're really getting into a groove. There's nothing special about this page. I just, I don't know what day this is. I don't know where I was in my life. I don't know how I, I don't know what day this is. I don't know where I was in my life. I just know that I love these drawings. Also, look at how many men, specifically old men are on this page. Look at how they're completed drawings. Look at how, there are drawings that I'm proud of. Easy. Yeah, yeah. Also, I got really, really good at drawing a certain type of nose. Can you see it? If you can't, I can't help you. It's that one right there. Also, I got so freaking good at drawing beards. I'm not even joking, you guys. Like, I know how to draw beards now. I can't believe it. <laughs> and this is... Oh, these are some really creepy studies of Link from the uh twilight princess manga excellent manga by the way if you want to read some manga but i will point out the bounty blob he brings me so much joy so i had to draw him in the coffee shop also on my lunch break so i don't know why but i just got super super bored of graphite drawings and i just didn't want to draw like that anymore so i switched to mr googly eye over here and i started drawing with the colored pencil and it worked out so amazing this Honestly, I love all these drawings in that sketchbook, but I love all the drawings in this one. The ones that happened in this one are just... It makes me think that I can draw. <laughs> Imagine that! <laughs> I don't know why I'm like this. I told you I hadn't been in front of a camera in a while. <laughs> okay, so I think I found where it started. Um... Oh, what is this doing? What is... Oh, these are the flyers for that theater production that I was in. I wondered, I was, I wondered where I put these. But on a side note, that's my OC Jeff. <laughs> I love him so much. He's a gnome Horizon Walker Ranger. <laughs> yes, this is the D. But you can also see some plans for that toothless costume I was ah, talking about. We have more men. That is such a luscious beard. Okay, if I was an old, if 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 I was a dude, specifically an old dude. You know I'd have that beard. You just, mm. This I drew in the the other sketchbook, but then I didn't want to draw on a graph anymore, so I put it out and I put it in here. Sorry, we're just they're getting a little too close for comfort. Oh boy! Ah! Let's take a minute to look at it together. Isn't that nice? <laughs> okay, I see now where um, I did not draw the last two heads, so let's do that real quick. I'm done! Oh, phew. Now I'm no longer a liar. 
feels really good to get that off my chest. It's the final page of the challenge, guys, and I... This wasn't part of it, by the way, and uh, neither was this one. Those are just there for funsies. But I, 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 I'm really proud of myself, first of all. Like, not to be bragging or prideful, I just literally, I never finish challenge like these, ch challenges like, I never finish these types of things. I always start them with high hopes and I always end with very low spirits. And even though I have challenges in my life that previously I didn't, and like more obligations and like more like more going on oh my gosh i still finished it and that's just like a, a very much of a wow feeling i mean yes i did finish it just now but i just finished it just now like dare i say it number one hundo is not that bad i'm really proud of all of them but my particular favorites are this one He's very handsome. This one, she's so cute. And where'd, you, where'd it go? This one, because now I know how to draw wrinkles and facial hair. And I just, <sighs> wow. I can't think of a whole lot else to say other than this was really good for me. And I guess I can still draw. Uh, this is awkward. I don't know what else to do now. Thank you for watching. That's very nice of you. Wow. Well, um, maybe I don't. Will I see you next time? Say bye, googly eyes. Bye, everybody. I'm probably gonna edit all of that out.